Welcome to the Freelancer's Tea Break, the short and sweet podcast for freelancers to enjoy whilst making a cuppa. My name is Emma Cossey, I'm a coach for freelancers and throughout April I'm sharing some mini spring cleaning tasks you can try to spruce up your business. So we're into week three now of what I'm going to call the great freelance spring clean. Uh, In week one we looked at spring cleaning in our finances I discovered quite a few tools that I was subscribed to and wasn't using or wasn't using to the best, or I could have been using a different um, tier, uh, sort of payment tier and things like that. So I definitely had some benefits of doing that and also setting up my accounts for the new tax year. And in week two, we looked at decluttering your inbox um, and I had a big sort through mine. Um, It is much clearer now, much easier to use. Um, And I also started using um, Speechify, which is a way of getting your, well, anything on your computer actually read out to you. Um, But I found it really useful because it embeds um, into all your emails, um, especially on Gmail, tells me how long it will take to read um, an email. And you can also play it so it will read the email to you, which for some of the ones that I really enjoy reading um, has been really useful. I can hit play and I can do other jobs whilst I'm listening to it. So this week, it's all about your online presence. Now, this is probably the most important spring clean of all of these ones. It's so easy to set it and forget it with our social media and our websites, but things change so much. I mean, there's a good chance you might have bits on your website about working through lockdown or COVID, or you might have a pin post that's out of date on your social media. So there are a few things that you could try. And again, a lot of these are things that you can do on your phone or on your laptop whilst on the sofa. Um, So nice and easy ones. My first suggestion is spring clean your social media bios. So go check your social media bios, make sure they're up to date, make sure your latest, um, uh, your website link is in there or a freebie link if you have one for your mailing list. Uh, Make sure it all reflects what you do. Um, And particularly on things like Instagram, kind of be SEO um, smart about it. What kind of terms are in there that people might be searching for? So I have freelance coach in mind because I know that's going to be thing, uh, something that people might be searching for or even just freelance itself. And I have that in my in my Instagram name, actually. I have Emma Cossey, freelance um, lifestyle coach. So it makes it much easier for people to find me. Um, and that also applies to TikTok and your LinkedIn as well. That's probably a job in itself, but go have a look at your LinkedIn profile. Um, That's high on my list. It's a big one of my list this month. The next one is your about page. Um, So again, this is an easy one to write and um, forget about what you've included, but there's a chance that some of it might be out of date. You might have years in there that are completely out of date now. Um, Or you might want to have a look at if you're talking to your customer with um, with them in mind or your client. So have a look at your about page and see if there's anything you can be doing to update that. SEO is a big one and it's a big one for me at the moment. Um, I have recorded a podcast that will come up um, a couple of days after this one, I think, um, with Mary James, who is a copywriter who is hot on SEO, but in a really kind of accessible, relatable way, not a, oh, let's get really technical or let's be really overwhelming with this. She's actually running a workshop on Wednesday, the 3rd of May um, and has an implementation session the week after on Tuesday the 9th of May so that you actually do it. So if there's one thing you need to do, um, I would recommend having a look at that workshop. I will put the details in um, the show notes. Um, But your SEO is really important. Um, I have so many clients, um, sort of freelance clients who say their latest client found them from a Google search or um, they were searching for something. So for example, I have a 30 days to go freelance course for beginner freelancers. And I will quite often have people who find me through either a a Google search or a Pinterest search, um, searching for how to go freelance. And that's how they find that course. And then they end up in the freelance lifestyle world. So it is really, really important. And Mary makes a brilliant point in this podcast, which is really worth listening to about how your SEO can warm up your customer, your clients for you or your customers. Um, and who doesn't want that? 
So um, I would highly recommend having a look at your SEO. And if you need help with that, um, come along to Mary Jones's workshop. And finally, um, check your pinned posts on social media. Um, Twitter in particular, um, the pinned posts are quite um, visual. Um, but also Facebook um, and Instagram allows you to pin the top three posts. Um, now with that, this is something that we've been talking about in the business lounge actually recently about um, nine grids. So I have a nine grid on mine, which is essentially nine static posts on my Instagram that don't change. Um, they stay the same. Um, and I then upload reels and stories, but my grid stays the same. So my grid almost works as a mini website. Um, but if nine sounds too overwhelming, you can just pin the top three and have them as a sort of um, introduction to you. So you could have an introduction post, a services post, and maybe a, a post about your freebies or your services um, or um like a really common question. So have a think about how you can use, particularly on Instagram, those top three posts as a mini kind of micro website for you. So like I said, it is, it, it's something that will probably only take you maybe an hour to do all of those. Um, but I would highly recommend having a look at your online presence. Um, if you want some accountability, do jump into the Facebook group, The Freelance Lifestylers. It's a free group, really friendly, really lovely, supportive people um, to share how you got on with this. And if you want to find more ways to show up and find clients online, head to freelancelifestyle.co.uk where you'll find two freebies to help you find clients. There's the five ways to find your next client training. It's about 20 minutes or even less if you have, um, like I do, video speed controllers so you watch everything a little bit faster. Um, and the Freelance Client Pipeline, which is a PDF full of ways to show up and find clients quickly and easily. Um, as someone with ADHD, consistency is not something that comes very naturally to me. I can't do the same thing every week. I find it too boring. Um, I know it's not ideal from a business point of view, but what I do do consistently is every week I sit down, I go through that PDF or those lists, and I think, what three things will I do this week to find clients? Will it be um, signing up for a networking event? Will it be um, sharing on Instagram some of my services? Will it be a LinkedIn post um, with a Q&A in it or something like that? Will it be uh, pitching to be on someone else's podcasts? So I find three things from that and that's how I show up consistently. Not the exact same every week, um, but I show up consistently, um, even if it's in lots of different places. So I hope you found that useful. I'd love to know how you get on. And we've got, um, I think, two more spring cleaning sessions. So um, they will be coming up in the next couple of weeks. And if you're not already on the newsletter, I do share some of these on there as well. Um, the newsletter um, you will be able to get if you sign up for those freebies or just go to freelancelifestyle.co.uk slash newsletter. Um, it comes out twice a week. We have on Monday a to-do list, which has three things you can do this week um, to um, improve your freelance business, um, get some self-care or self-development in and a general admin one. And then on Friday, it could be all sorts. It could be, it's generally, I try and make it as practical as possible and have a takeaway for you. Um, but it could be like a spring clean one, like this one. It could be an email template. It could be um, the latest on the news in terms of freelancing. Um, but it always has something tangible you can take away and you can implement. Have a wonderful week, everyone. And I will chat to you next week.